to you, viewers at home. You are welcome to the chat. And my name is Chris Carter, sitting in for the beautiful AJ Savon. If you're joining us for the first time, this is that show that gets you a step closer to your favorite celebrity. Get to know what they're doing, get to know what they're working on, and get to know what they might be featuring very soon. Now, we also get to talk about everything that has been buzzing on social media throughout the week. Not forgetting celebrating the arts and entertainment industry by playing your favorite music videos and excerpts of movies coming from Ghana and beyond. As you can see, I'm at the chat bar right now, and it's time to check out the cocktail of the week. And remember, every cocktail of the week is inspired by the celebrity that will pass through the show. So what is our cocktail of the week? So tonight we have the Dolce Mona Lisa. Well, if you didn't hear him, he said the Dolce Mona, Mona Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, right. Mona Lisa. Who does that make you think of? Hmm. Well, if you guessed right, this person is a very you know popular person on um, all over social media. But now she's into music. Yes, 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 you're thinking what I'm thinking. Yes, Mona is going to be passing through the show today. Mona, aka Aja for real and now this cocktail contains what some orange syrup vanilla syrup martini zero and good day energy drink remember the chat is proudly sponsored by good day energy drink it keeps you going yes it does keep us going all right it's time to take a quick break and when we come back we'll be diving straight into the show don't go nowhere Welcome back, guys. If you're just joining us, this is the chat right here on City TV. And that song was by Ben Soul 
titled Stereo. And this singer is actually from Kenya. I think that was a very nice song. So let's get straight into the show. And it's time for me to introduce the very knowledgeable panel that will be doing this with me because obviously without the panel, there's no chat. All right, so um, on my right, he's already smiling, is Emmanuel Sapon, also known as Olele Salvador for City Countdown, my, my Spanish friend. I like the way you mentioned the Salvador. Salvador you, know, yeah. so you have the accent in there. Yeah, That's Salvador. very, very good. Yeah, you're uh, welcome to the Ghanians show. Ghanians really struggle to say that, but it's good. <laughs> it's good. But thank you for welcoming me. Thank and you're you. welcome to the show. Thank you so much. And the Pleasure beautiful be lady in the middle is actually no other person than Paula, who is an entertainment journalist with Ghana Web. Hi, Paula. Hi, Chris. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. How many you. times have you heard that today? You are the first for today because I've been indoors all day. So well, maybe, if you uh, don't want to tell you, girl, you cute. Thank you. Oh, you're cute too. You're cute. <laughs> Thank you, you Olili. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> and the other gentleman, of course, is just watching you guys like, girl, like you, you guys need to stop this. Well, he's, he's, he's all composed and ready to, um, you know, start the whole show. It's no other person than the digital creator and entrepreneur, Mr. Coca. Thank Hi, you. Coca. You're looking dashing. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. matching. And cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> so after this, we can. There will be a burial service today, so we just. <laughs> <need> <laughs> <to do that. laughs> All right, so we are not ready. Well, let's not call it a burial service, but it mm. might be very interesting there. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> All right, so can we have our cocktails? Is our cocktails ready? Ooh. Yay. Okay, it's almost ready. I hear the sound of that. But while we wait for our cocktails, um, how are you guys doing? Is everybody okay? That's good. It's the weekend. Just relax. Yeah. Yeah. While we get ready Any for Monday. Any plans after this? Well, my, my team is playing in about a couple of minutes. Oh. Um, so I'm wishing nothing but the best for them because if they don't win. Chelsea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Like, Chelsea. Thank you. But I'm surprised you support Chelsea and you're in black. So it means my burial service will happen. <laughs> oh, my God. Well. But I have some duchess I'll be singing after the show because... I mean, we have to have a burial service. Well, you keep talking about this burial service. I think we should just the get... Team, <laughs> the team that will be buried after the Champions League is the service I'm talking about. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to praise not our team. Yes. yes. Um, anyway, <laughs> so let's get into the first video that we're going to be reviewing. And it's no other person than Wendy Shea herself. It is, uh, we have to reduce the number of workers due to the current and ongoing global situation. I know you are highly valued. I am truly sorry. She got me singing Hosanna. A friend me Tony Montana. Tony Montana. I'm from me Wangana. Don't see me a drunk. I'm so up from me side. Love letter. Me throw money down. Baby, I shim me say how many pounds. When you need pizza, into Covena. Minika, oh, you cool, you're Benanti. Me bro, phone ya, you're Kafanti. Oh, friend, I own few ones I want it. Nasa, can you only do my, you light it. I'm a Philly boss, Shana no Hosossi, Matia Denta, Arabalos, 
I say me one five six, I be forcing me a striker to the day I be trying to cross it. I'm the Range Rover, I'm the Pencil, bouncy can the cut, I'm the Pencil. Four view, one of my boys in Hello, hello, just let me pass it on. Alright guys, that was Wendy Shea featuring Medical with Decision, directed by KP Selim. Mm. So well, um, it's time for me to, you know, call on the drinks again. And while the drinks are getting ready, you know, just keep prepared. Sure. Start sure. getting prepared of what you're going All to say right, about Chris. this video. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Hello. <laughs> Alright. Uh, all right, guys. So this is the Dolce Mona Lisa, actually inspired right. by our celebrity guest, Mona. For Mona. Real. Haja, for real. Say what? Say what? <laughs> I like that. Uh, cheers, guys. Say uh, what? Thank, thank you. you so oh, much. Thank you. Mm. Mm. How does it taste? Mm. Mm. Say what? Say what? Okay. <laughs> Say what? Okay. All right, guys. So, so that was the new um, Wendy Shea. I mean, that was the new Wendy Shea video. Yeah. Mm. So what do you think about the video? Do you think that's the new Wendy Shea now? Okay, Chris. So or is it just for the music purposes? No, you know, she, she recently said she was launching a new brand where she wants to appear a bit covered up. She said that in a uh, radio interview. So I was expecting, I was expecting it. It doesn't come as a surprise. Even at her album launch, the way she was all dressed and covered up. So this is her announcing that now I want to be a bit covered up. I'm not going to do the all sexy video where you see that ladies are going to come and shake their behind. So I think this is her new style and mm -hmm. it's okay. At least we don't see a lot of flesh in it. So we're good to go. So what do you think? Well, I, I think a brand that is going through a new phase mm -hmm. needs to carry message that a brand depicts. One is unlawful to load a truck, a car, a saloon car at this. <laughs> Two, two babies are in a car without a seat belt and she <laughs> is in a seat belt. The man drags a baby and sleeps with a baby in his arm and there is no seat belt. So is that a, the new brand? Okay. Kill me quick. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I, I actually get where you're coming from and, and I really wish the you director see, is watching this. We, because usually we, we, have yeah. we call are people celebrities and when we celebrate you you need to inform we sit to insult fix this fix, fix that, that. Yeah. is that what we are fixing mm. our message always somewhere else can you really give me the concept of what you saw mm -hmm. somebody who has been ejected from a house they are they are troubled and can just party in the forest in the middle of the road. And yeah. the kids are happy that the parents are partying with a balloon. Mm -hmm. What is the concept? Right. So I'm going to come back to that. But Olele, what's you, what are your thoughts? Kuka has finished me. Yes, he has, yes, he has finished me because I was wondering the same thing. For me, the song itself um, sounds too familiar. Yeah, it sounds I think like it's a mixture of so many things. Wedana yes. Naira. Wedana Naira. Yeah. And, uh, then a, a, um, an old hip hop song. Yes. yes. An old hip -hop the song. The yeah. beginning. Yes. The beginning. Yes. And it also has a touch of Becca and Emma's No Away. Even the video concept, it has that as well. Yeah. What I do not get is um, they were on a journey. Where were they going to? What is the decision in there looking like? Because the song is talking about decisions, right? So he gets rejected from. But he doesn't get a job, right? But she made it clear in the song that even if, if, even if um, it had to be between the man and Dangote, she, she would really choose, choose the man. man. So that's the decision. Yeah, but where are you headed to? Well, Because we see you move <laughs> from the city and you just appear. The decision is a journey. Mm -hmm. So where is where, the location? Yeah, where is you just, you just appear in Wonderland, right? And then even the person that you, f you featured on the song is trapped the in a TV set. How is he communicating to the decisions that you are talking about? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Granted, perhaps the video does not need to follow exactly mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. the song is saying. Yeah, and that's what we learned last, last week. Last week, yeah. yes. But at least it will drop some iota of, you know, um, direction that this is what we are trying to portray. Do you get what I'm saying? So I, I'm not too sure what the director was trying to express, you know, through his creative visuals. But for me, 
um, the video did a song a little bit of the service. Right, right. Okay. Um, well, Paula, I, I just want to ask, like, talking about the whole covering up and, 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 you know, trying to show a new image, like, do you think um, she was pressured to do that? Okay, so Wendy, from what she said, she said she wants to appeal to a corporate institution yeah. and the elderly in the society, right? Yeah. So she doesn't want to be the Wendy Shea that we already know, so sexy, she is appearing, you can see flesh and all that. So I think she tried to do something different. It was okay. The beginning of the video was just fine. But towards the tail end, it didn't end well for me because if your man lost his job, you were on a ride with him, you said you're going to stick together, and then there even the effect. Oh, I felt when they went to, is it the forest or the... Yeah. Oh, suppose the wonderland. <laughs> the wonderland. Yes. It was a bit too much. The telephone thing, the balloons. <sighs> Okay. I, I don't even know who I she know, was calling okay, in the I know, I, I know all of you are basically saying the same thing right now yeah. because you don't get what's going on in the, in, in the video. But I just want to ask, let's be sincere with ourselves. If she was not a Ghanaian artist, if this video wasn't a Ghanaian and maybe a white person, would we be feeling this way? You see, every song has a message. If it's a more just a danceable tune mm -hmm. that we are popping, this video, I don't have a problem okay. with it. It's a decision. You're communicating from the beginning. You started with a storyline. I am glued to the song because of the video. Because of the storyline. Now, yeah. anytime, I have seen the video now. Anytime I hear the song, the scenes play in my head, mm. right? You are telling me in the song that this is the man you have chosen. Whether Naira or Gary or Sidi, oh, you're stick, sticking with the person. You don't need a video to always go with a song. Mm. But this one, the story was glued to the, to the song. So you could feel the flow. But me, a typical Ashanti man, mm -hmm. seeing a telephone in a Kumasi Suhum road. <laughs> hey, Are you which kind of witch did this service for us? All right, so I, well, well, let's just say that's the creative direction of the director. But what do you think but, about but, the editing? What, what, what hmm. is this phone saying? You see, you bring things to bring a distortion, to bring something new, give a new entry. If after that, we see that a man has got a job and they are living in a luxurious yeah, place, then the TV is there and uh, um, bra is rapping mm. and it. It gives a different thing. Yeah. I am I'm speaking because I'm a production person. Yeah. And I'm asking myself, what was KP trying to achieve? Because he doesn't need to come and explain the video for me to do. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, okay, okay. That was what you were trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But let's talk about the editing. What do you think about the editing? For me, I think it was really... The pictures are yeah. sharp. Yeah, the pictures yeah. are really yeah. sharp. Yeah. The, colors. I mean, the transition. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bringing, making use of the old and modernization. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think our videos are a bit all over the place mm -hmm. but bringing the old stuff in it caught my attention yes. to watch to the end so yeah. that's why I can tell we the details are playing out for yeah. us mm. yeah. the car was but the yeah. seat belt is there yeah, it's a problem should, yeah okay so I think directors really need to work on stuff yeah. like that because when yeah. you're, yeah. you're, telling you're sending yeah. a message we yeah. keep saying that we are fixing the country we should lead what we are saying you really have a problem with fixing this country no because if <laughs> We don't, as a celebrity, whatever you do, things should, you shouldn't wait to go and sit on a TV to justify that, oh, it was artistic. That's why I didn't do it. It's wrong. Right, right, right. All right, so, Olele, I think we have some messages. Yeah, we have some messages. Ad Adjo Anima says, Wendy Shea has really grown and evolved in this music industry. Nice tune, Queen. Um, Elsie says, I'm from Ivory Coast, but I recognize that they are good singers in Ghana. God bless the Ghanaian and Africans in the world. And um, Chris Hansen says, this tune is a feeling. Such decisions are quite tough, but it's always worth it. Bless up, Wendy and MDK. And another friend Paul says, I like any song from Wendy from day one to now. Keep it up, my mm -hmm. Wendy. And Zach finally says, this should be the wedding promise from women to men. <laughs> when these lyrics are so touching. Right, That's right. What we have. All right, so it's time to go um, into the next video. And it will be a video from Mr. Easy with EB Mad, directed by Ademola Fa Lomo. Let's check it out. Yeah. Yeah. 
you is you is you yeah yeah like a what it's killing me vibes baby girl is your love in a final now god we design her you know get the rival you know get the rival yeah no be beans to be my mind Cause in no time for my mind Your love, it they do me like I kai It they sweep me like I kai Yeah It be mad, yo It be mad It be mad, yo It be mad For the night, yo For the night Take it to my side, yo For the night You name for my life, yo For my life I know see your type, yo For my life It be mad, yo It be mad It be mad, yo It be mad You must follow advice Go camp for your twice, sweeter than sugar and spice. Take off your body, be nice. Me, I go pay the price. Go tell your mama, I go pay the price for your loving. I don't need to be your loving. You be mad, yo, you be mad. You be mad, yo, you be mad. For the night, yo, for the night. Take it in my side, yo, for the night. Play for my life, yo, for my life. I don't see your type, yo, for my life. Don't leave me hanging, no, baby. Don't leave me hanging, no, baby. Oh, my baby. My cat is your love, oh, oh. I am wanting and willing to do anything to prove, oh, baby. Don't look me like say I am a joke, oh, oh. Hey. Baby, girl, your love in a final. I got with designer. You know, get the rival. You know, get the rival. Yeah. No be peace, no be my mind. Cause you no time for my mind. Your love, they do me like I kai. They sweep me like I kai. Yeah. You be mad, yo. You be mad. You be mad, yo. You be mad. For the night, yo. For the night. Take it to my side, yo. For the night. Play for my life, yo. For my life. I don't see your type, yo, for my life. Don't leave me hanging, no, baby. Leave me hanging, no, baby. Right, so that was Mr. Easy with EB Mad, directed by Ademola Falomo. So, Kako, I mean, Koka, how does it feel? I mean, watching this video, um, same pattern, um, blending the new with the old. Um, I think the as nice as as fresh, you you. He's also following the storyline of the song. The focus is on the girl. Um, trying to get attention and the girl is not giving the attention. Mm -hmm. So, from the beginning, I know what he was saying. Mm -hmm. I want her, but I don't have her. Yeah. Trying to get her attention. In my isolation, I have her, but I've lost yeah. her. But Mr. Easy is just promoting her gambling, her bits <laughs> of the betting. The lotto, everything is gambling in there. Um, ABC, the director did justice a bit, but lost it. Um, the final bit, the bottles had off the branding off, but in the middle, ABC came and you could see all the bottles there, but continuity didn't, didn't you know, work. At the latter mm -hmm. part, you could see the bottle was there, but it was nothing around. Right, right. You're always very meticulous about things. Because every video tells a story. Right. And a dress or a lightning that is positioned wrong can depict the scent wrongly. Right. So if... We want to go international. We should let them watch, 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 and say, no, this is the video. Right. So, Paula, do you think the, uh, the music video is trying to remind us to go back to a certain culture uh, of, or lifestyle we are gradually moving away from? Okay, so, you know, Mr. Easy does well with promoting Africa. So we all have scenes where maybe it's just poverty, da, 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 da. But when you watch his videos, he has this unique thing. We, it comes natural. But I think with this, it was okay. Just yeah. like when I looked at the video, 
there were certain, certain things missing for me, especially the bad scene where the girl, the bad part, and I didn't know where it, she went because, you know, this, the the entrance was not on the side where she was, unless oh, maybe so she, took off. <laughs> she took off. She took off. And also the the moto scene, they were not without helmets. That was one thing I observed. I was like, okay, no helmet. The rider was in helmet, but then the people behind, it happens. Yeah. They're all saying that wear your helmet, helmet. So with me, I think it's cool. They're certain, just could be the middle of a crowd, like right, Jamestown right. kind of certain. So it tells you that we play our games. This is the life we live. We're cool, we're fun. And then the people in there, we're happy. So I think it's, it's just the vibe. You get, you, you get mad. So it's that's the vibe. it. Uh -huh. vibe. All <laughs> the right. Vibe. So moving away from the vibe, oh, Lele. Yeah. Um, how was the blend of the classic melody and the visuals for you? Do you think it should have had some vintage cars in there? Not necessarily. I think the, the clothes did enough to show the vintageness or the theme, the vintage theme of, of, of the video. The color grading, um, for me, watching the video makes me appreciate the cinematography mm -hmm. of the video. I don't think the video was made to necessarily match the song. Yeah. I think it was just made to match the vibe of the song. Because if I listen to the song, Truthfully, I'm not going to remember anything in this video. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to remember how beautiful the colors were blended. You know, some of the nine scenes that were shot, the, the culture of the James style, you know, um, shall I say neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Because when you when you watch the video and you, you are familiar with James style, these are the things that happened in James style. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Easy was able to sell that part of James style very well and not make it look condescending yeah. to, to, to an yeah. extent, yeah. you know. so. I, I, I appreciate that. <clears throat> I look at Mr. Easy's um, outfit, you know, as the typical old school lover approach, you know, where he has the college, is it Coley J? Yeah. Or, uh, Coley J hat, he has this long pantalons and, you know, shoes. And this is where, like, back in the day, this, yeah. this, this is what, how our fathers used to, you know, oh, no, go man. after a woman, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think he was able to do that. We saw the, um, the young boxer, which shares the, the story of Bukum, mm -hmm. you know, when, when you talk about Bukum, you know that boxing is one of the primary things in there which he was able to sell as well. The lady in there, I believe the casting director did a beautiful job because we are able to see the melanin, the beautiful black skin, you know, being exhibited in the proper representation, you know, and uh, that is why you can, you can appreciate the coloring of of the video because yeah. if you're not careful you are you are going to do the the, the model a little bit of the same so another thing that i realized too was the the dance was not too giddy giddy you know it was smooth calm collected you know just it has this kind of warm reception that you want to relook again yeah you know i like the scene where both of them were i don't know what's a restaurant but they were sitting um, tables apart. I don't know whether they were observing social distancing Maybe. or it's, it was what it was like back in the day. But I also love that, you know, intimacy in there because it'd be mad. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to check out some, some comments from social media and uh, let this me one. Put up. Let me okay. Put up. Let me put it up. Let me put it up. Just give me a second. Okay. I think um, I have some here. Have some, okay. So this is a spiritual uprising in Africa and it's diaspora. Mm. The emergence and outburst of these souls touching Afro songs are here to usher us into the new era, an era of spiritual awakening mm. guided by ancestry mm. from art last. Mm. Another one says, Loki, I wish the vehicles on the road were vintage cause the, cause this is a classic tune mm. from Carlos Ndegua in Nairobi, Kenya. Mm. And lastly, we have, now this is what they call real music from Africa. Mm. Thanks for the good views. Now it's time for us to take a quick break and when we come back, we'll be talking to our celebrity guests. Don't go nowhere.
The month of June is for business here at 97.3 City FM and City TV. Stay connected with 97.3 City FM and City TV as we bring to your doorstep the City Business Festival. It will be packed with on air series and virtual fora that will help you boost your business skills. Join us on radio as we bring you the on air series with interesting topics every Monday to Thursday at 9 20 a.m. on the City Breakfast Show and the Omnibus on Fridays. Week one on the on air series. We talk about digital economy, making your business digital ready. Catch our insightful virtual business forum on City TV with experienced resource persons every Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and a repeat on Thursdays at the same time. Stay tuned and let's talk everything business on the City Business Festival happening this June only on 97.3 City FM and City TV. For more information on the City Business Festival, call 0205 973 973. The City Business Festival is powered by 97.3 City FM, City TV, and CityBusinessNews.com, and proudly sponsored by Absa Bank and supported by IT Consortium. What's cooking? How about finding new ways? To use your favorite ingredients. Just cut across like this and then bring it down this way and then you have your diced onions. Very simple. Take your meals to the very next level. AJ, see? I just want to just put in a tiny bit of the oil. Oh, yes. So, that's so this is the mixture. Oil. So this is the mixture, the coconut oil and the... Okay, okay. Join me, Apioko, on what's cooking as I tour various kitchens to bring you new recipes and delicacies. Oh, what's that? I'm savory. Honey. Honey. Yeah, give me some honey. Oh, you want some honey? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. But there's sugar already. It's a blend. <laughs> <laughs> Watch what's cooking right here on City TV. Your Sunday evenings just got better. Fernandez, Fernandez, Greenwood, breathtaking. Cut all the thrills, the fun and the action right here on Ghana's fastest growing TV channel, City TV. Here goes LeBron, bullies his way in. As we review the weekend sporting action, providing the best analysis on your favorite sporting moments. And that young man from Uruguay, Valverde. Yeah. Wow, goodness me. Federico. He's an engine. Barcelona are very disappointed in themselves because they've been, they've been all over the place since the restart. My point is, they've, they've literally handed the title to, to, yeah. to Real Madrid. This is where it all begins. Akanji. In towards all of you, close it up. This is scorecard with me, Fentu or Taihu Fentu. Every Sunday at 9 p.m. Only on City TV.
Welcome back, guys. If you just join in us, this is the chat. And that song was from Mona, aka Aja for real. And she's in the house right now. You are welcome to the show. Thank you. It's been long. I know. Girl, I've been looking for you. Girl, I've been looking <laughs> for you too. <laughs> All right. So before we get into the show, um, yeah. I would like to give you a drink. This drink, this drink is actually inspired by you. Okay. And the mixologist made it just for you. So oh, we've yeah? had ours already. So let me just call for yours. Sure. Hi, can we can have a drink? Can drink? Yeah. <laughs> but but how, 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 how has the music industry been? Um, I mean, so far, so good. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it so far. <laughs> I know. I can see you're having fun with it. But it's not easy. It's not you easy, know, right? Yeah. It's not easy. Know, I mean, it takes a whole lot of work. Right, yeah. right. So we woke up one day and then Mona Boom. is a singer. I'm like, wow. <laughs> like everybody's living their dream. Right. All right, so how do you describe yourself? Would you call yourself an artist, a model, or a social media influencer? I'm everything. You are everything. Yeah. Wow. As an entertainer. As an entertainer. Yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but what got you to, you know, try out music? Well, let's say you're trying out or you're really now into music. I'm into music. I'm not trying. I'm into music mm -hmm. right now. There's nothing like trying. <laughs> it's either you're doing it or not. Right, right. Anyways, um, music is something that I've always liked and doing. People mm -hmm. around me know I love music a yeah. lot. But I just didn't have the courage to start yet. I was just waiting to do all the trainings, you know, be perfect and all that before I start doing music. But then I realized that 2020 taught us a very big lesson, you know. Mm -hmm. I realized that time waits for nobody, and you, if you have a dream, now is the time to chase it, and yes. I'm doing just that. Right, right. <laughs> All right, so I think our drinks are ready. Oh, yeah? Yes. What is it called? Hmm. All right, so I call this one Dolce Mona Lisa. The what? Dolce Mona Lisa. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah, cheers. Ooh, thank you. You're welcome. What is it made? Okay, so I've got a bit of orange juice in there, uh -huh. a bit of vanilla syrup, okay. martini zero, and a cup of good day energy drink. Let me taste it. Of course, you too. So there's no alcohol, so you, you, free. you're safe. Good. You like it? That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I'm glad Cheers. you like it. Bye. I'm glad you like it, and you can only find that here on the mm. chat. <laughs> All right, so um, going to YouTube, but we actually found out that your YouTube page is called um, for, for real, real entertainment. entertainment. Yes. So is that your record label? Um, it's owned by me and my business partner. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So are you ever gonna sign anyone? Definitely, I am. Ghanaians or outsiders or? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. Well, yeah. so do you write your songs? Yeah, I have a couple of them that I've written by myself. Mm -hmm. They are not out yet, and also I have people that write for me. And sometimes I write it together with a team. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So is it true that Link's Entertainment is behind your production? Um, yeah, I mean, Richie is a very good friend of mine. So anytime I need help and all that, he guides me through the right path. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how has that been working with Richie? Oh, it's amazing. Like mm -hmm. I said, he's been my good friend for so long. So it's just normal. Right. <laughs> so we actually saw that you hired a voice coach. Yes, yes, and yes, yes. That yes. really means that you're serious. I'm serious, girl. So how much do you pay this voice coach? Oh, come on. Are we going to... 
talk about this on TV. Oh, so you can't tell me? I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's time for us to go check out mm. your new music video. Yes, yes, that yes. That has been buzzing and everybody's talking about it. Yeah. And when we come back, we will continue the conversation. All right, so let's check out Mona For Real with God's Child. Say, say, say what? Make accounts of my blessings and my favor. Everything I am from the most high. From the most high. Naturally, I'm blessed. Funny that look on the face. When they see that I'm the best. Naturally, I'm blessed. I don't even have to run the race. Naturally, I confess. So that was God's Child, and that was by Mona For Real, who is yes. actually here with, this, uh, with us at the studio right now. Mm -hmm. That was a very nice video. Thank you. What about the song? I love it. I love it. And I think, like, every song coming up, I see an improvement. Like, Aww, like, like I think you. you're doing it. Thank I really you think you so are much. doing this it. This is all I need. <laughs> right, right. Encouragement. You need it. You need it. And, and, and for real, I think you're doing well. Thank you so much. All right, so let's talk mm -hmm. about the song. What actually inspired you? And, and this is your third single, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. So what's the song about? Um, so it's about you and I. We mm -hmm. are all God's children and everybody watching us right now, you know. Um, but you know how sometimes people just hate you for no reason? Like people hate you because you're beautiful, because you're hardworking, because, you know, yes. it's not your fault that you were created mm -hmm. this way. Mm -hmm. God created you that mm -hmm. way. And I, that's why I just got the inspiration from there. Yeah. Yeah. So your music videos are actually a very unique. I'm sure you've heard it so many times. You're clean, the yeah. costuming, the styling, everything. I mean, who comes up with these ideas of the video and... How much does it cost to produce Which something? one am I answering first? All right, so who actually <laughs> comes up with these ideas? Um, the director is pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. Rex is very you good. You use one person? Yes, so far I've mm -hmm. used one person and he's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, he has great ideas. So, yeah, we, I mean, he brings the ideas and we also chip in some yeah, one or two yeah. and then boom. Wow, and yeah. boom, magic happens. Magic happens. So you said Rex. How much do you pay Rex? Rex, when I hear Rex, it's ching ching. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of ching ching. <laughs> I know. You know, one thing um, 
people know is quality is not cheap. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to mention any amount here, but all I want you guys to just enjoy the video for me. Mm -hmm. It's all for you guys. There's right, no need right. to talk about mm -hmm. the price, but quality ain't cheap. All right, <laughs> right. So there's this thing, like right now, when your name is mentioned, yeah. everybody says, say, say what? Say what? And you actually added it to the yeah. video. <laughs> even, even when we were talking earlier and, and we're like, oh, the drink is actually inspired by you. Everybody was like, say what? what? So how do you feel when, you know, you go out or you were somewhere and people just say that? I don't know. It's, it's just, it's amazing. Right. It's amazing. If, right now, everywhere I go, people just go like, say what? Say what? And I'm like, say what? You know? <laughs> and it's, if the, uh, the feeling is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's great. And yeah. All right. I'm loving it. So how far do you want to take music? Um, the sky should be the limit. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. I want to go very far. All right. International. Name it. I'm working hard towards that. All right. Okay. So now let's talk about something that has been going on on social media. The whole fix the country, fix yourself um, talk on Twitter. In fact, the whole social media. What do you think about it? Do you think it should be fix the country or it should be fix yourselves? I think we attitude. have to fix both, fix right. the country and fix ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody needs to fix themselves mm -hmm. and the country. Right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. So um, your fans are watching you right now. Is yeah. there anything you want to say to them in particular? Um. Yes. Of course. Um. I want to thank them for the support and love. Thank you so much for always supporting and loving your baby girl and I promise not to disappoint you. Expect nothing but the best from your girl. Right. Okay, so we have some messages for you before you actually leave. Okay. These are from your fans. I'm here for the Mona Lisa cocktail. I, I wish I can have a taste. Mm, it tastes so good. Yeah, and it's like someone said, shout out to the bartenders. And someone also said, hello City TV here. I would like to tell Aja for real that I love all her songs. Aww, and I love. Thank you. Yeah, and I love her too, that she would keep it. And I love that she would keep up the good work. I will. Right. And I'm sure you're enjoying your drink, right? I am all. It's well, I love this drink. Mm, you <laughs> love Cheers. it. Cheers. All right. Just to remind you, this actually um, contains the good energy drink. And this show is actually sponsored by Good Energy Drink. Mm. Ugh. Sorry, good day energy it's okay. drink. Yeah, good day energy <laughs> drink. All right, and I'm having fun actually. It's time Me for us to take a quick break, I'm and when we fun. come back, we will be going into the next segment. Cheers. We have to run the race. It's time for the Literacy Challenge. Are you a JHS student in Ghana? Do you have Ghana's political governance at heart? Would you like to take on a challenge to share your ideas and win 10,000 Ghana CDs? Then participate in the Literacy Challenge 2021. There are three levels of the Literacy Challenge. Level one, the essay. As an aspiring presidential candidate, in not less than 600 words, write a convincing manifesto speech that is intended to fix the country and bring hope to political governance. Your essay must not be less than 600 words long. The script must be in your own handwriting. Make sure the script is endorsed by a parent or guardian. Add your full contact details and send to the Literacy Challenge PO Box GP14123 Accra Central or drop it off at the front desk of City FM City TV behind the Adabraka Police Station. Level 2 Aptitude Test. The top 50 contestants from across Ghana to make it to the next round shall take part in a general knowledge aptitude test. Level 3 Quiz Competition. The top 10 contestants shall compete for the grand prize of 10,000 Ghana CDs in a classic quiz competition. Closing date for entries is Friday 25th June 2021. Call 0205-973-973 for more details. The Literacy Challenge is powered by 97.3 City FM with support from City TV. Terms and Conditions apply. City TV is live 
On DSTV, go to channel 363. On GoTV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free-to-air digital box like the GoTV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. The month of June is for business here at 97.3 City FM and City TV. Stay connected with 97.3 City FM and City TV as we bring to your doorstep the City Business Festival. It will be packed with on-air series and virtual fora that will help you boost your business skills. Join us on radio as we bring you the on-air series with interesting topics every Monday to Thursday at 9.20 a.m. on the City Breakfast Show and the Omnibus on Fridays. Week 1 on the on-air series we talk about digital economy, making your business digital ready. Catch our insightful virtual business fora on City TV with experienced resource persons every Tuesday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and a repeat on Thursdays at the same time. Stay tuned and let's talk everything business on the City Business Festival happening this June only on 97.3 City FM and City TV. For more information on the City Business Festival, call 0205 973 973. The City Business Festival is powered by 97.3 City FM, City TV, and citybusinessnews.com and proudly sponsored by Absa Bank and supported by IT Consortium. I go standing on fire for you 
If I go standing on five for you, I got that bad time. I know me for watching drag up every evening driver. So we go drive away bad luck. And if there's a thing that I cannot, I will say to you, say to you, we go hand and hand together. That's why I'll be available. Well, hello, girl. What you say? I don't care what I'm talking about. You. Oh, my Bellinger. I love the cool of my temper. We live in La Vida Loca. I can't believe I'm so fine. Your love, they hide me, Mokobi. You're my Doremi. Girl, I got the remedy. You're my melody. Mm. Girl, I know if you drop and go. Girl, I suck up for your love. Uh, Baby, me, bro, me, Mokobi. Uh, give me the visa, make I enter your heart, oh. No be lie, oh baby, no turning back, oh. oh my girl, I wanna take you to Africa No be lie, oh baby, no turning back, oh. Give me that visa, give my password, enter From levity cost to penthouse, you go enter, follow mental you don't like your love for sushi. Life for me go be cushy. The effort where I go put in. Life go be bitch like boosting. Okay, this be my passport. Okay, stamped up. This be your word saying. Okay, stand up. Haters go they hit. I beg brushed up. Yes, see my yes, say my yes, sound so light up. I no see them. Still, I will go give them. They go see the difference. Me and you go there together. We go they shade them. Moon soon, not me anymore. Me don't yes, in tech. Yen, the love they hide me, Mokobi. You're my Doremi. Girl, I got the remedy. You're my melody. Mm. Girl, I know if you jump and go. Girl, I suck up for your love. Uh, Baby, me, bro, me, Moko. Uh, give me the visa, make I enter your heart. Oh. No be lie, oh baby, no turning back. Oh, oh my girl. Welcome back, guys. And this is the chat. In case you're just joining us earlier on, we got to speak to Mona for real, who told us everything about her music journey. And it's been an interesting one so far. Now it's time for us to get into social media trends. Olele, how are you? I'm doing good. Are you excited about this one? I am excited. Good day is helping me out. I know, What's right? What's name again? Mona, what? Do Dolce, Mona Lisa. Dolce Mona Lisa. Dolce Mona Lisa. Right. Powered by good day. Like, I feel good. I feel, I feel good. good too. I feel good. Without yeah. good day, man, yeah. I don't think you'll have a good day. At all. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, so on social media trends, um, this has been going on on social media. Right. And the question is, well, I'm going to actually read what um, brought up this topic. But the topic for today is, has the media struck DJs failed in promoting good music? And actually was inspired by um, legendary producer oh, no. Hammer's post. Yeah. So this question goes to you. What do you think? Um, hmm. I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think that they haven't promoted good music. 
the question we want to ask ourselves is what is good music right you know um the media or djs are taste makers of what we listen to they determine what's hot and what's not and but it does not also negate you know the 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 impact the music that is being created by several artists make for example um amare right she makes music yeah but you hardly hear songs on rotation mm -hmm. in the local airwaves but her songs in south africa and other places of which she has even been identified and you know um nominated for BET amplified yeah. artists of the month now if you want to ask me does amare make good music yes she does has any of our media houses or media stations played her music as often as they will play maybe a Kwame Eugene? Mm -hmm. No. No. But does that mean that she she's not good enough? No. Do you get what I'm saying? So I think, I think the issue is, it has to do with a little bit of bias. Yeah. You know, and um, the kind of appeal you have at the moment. I always say this, when you look at the drill music that became a big thing in this country, it started from social media. Yes. It didn't start from DJs. Right. It didn't start from um, the media houses. Mm -hmm. It blew up on social media, and then the media decided to take an interest in the music. And jump on it. So it's a 50 50 thing. The DJs or the media may not see good music as we, the listeners, see good music, but they can also contribute to the expansion of that music in helping us understand the new trends, you know, that the. the like I said, being a taste maker of, of, of the music you listen to. Um, for DJs, you say DJs play a lot of and stuff like that. So we have quite a number of songs in their library. However, what will a DJ play on radio to, to get a traffic? Right, right. Music that is popular, mm -hmm. right? So if your song is not popular, <laughs> your likelihood of having your song on there is not going to be, you know, shall I say 100%. They right. might play one or two, but... If he hasn't gotten the bars to keep the traffic on that dial, they will not play your music. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think it's a 50-50 thing, and uh, we just need to learn and unlearn some few things so that we can contribute wholly to the agenda. Right. Okay, so um, like I said, it was Hammer that actually you know, brought up with this topic. This is what he said. What's really going on? Mm. Where are the gatekeepers who, who are steering this industry? Mm. Who actually determines what should be popular and what should be shelved? I can't believe at black.sheriff isn't in the front lines. The most unique artist in recent times combining high life and hip hop is unfathomable in, um, in unfathomable ways and he's being kept in the background. I miss the days when Bola Ray and some great DJs were in charge of the public. I mean, of, of what the public got to yeah. hear. You always knew deserving artists would definitely get their break. This guy needs to enjoy the same prioritization as the talented Kwame, Kwame Eugene, Eugene gets from DJs. We have a pure breed in our midst, the first of his kind. Mm. Trust me, they don't make him like this anymore. A high life artist with a hip hop mindset priceless all right so that was actually what um the legendary producer hammer actually put out there and that's what brought up to this topic yes. so hammer is actually going to be joining us i don't know if he's on the zoom line right now but all right um he's actually on hello hammer hello how are you you are welcome to the show Oh, I'm great. Thank you very much. All right. So I'm sure you've been hearing what we're talking about. So what actually inspired your post? Uh, well, it's a no-brainer. Obviously, it was... Uh, I got a call from Chris Waddle, who sent me a uh, Black Reef song and asked for me to, you know, um, breathe. And immediately, I was surprised that I hadn't heard of him, especially when he told me that this boy has been around for a while. So I, I, I got pissed, obviously, and I, I, I decided to make a post. I, did, I, I used the whole weekend to help the boy break out from uh, where he was to the main mainstream. I made about three or four posts about him, put a couple of his songs out there. But the bottom line is that um, the culture of breaking out artists is important. Uh, 
originally DJs were the, the custodians of, of, of breakout artists. The record label got to hear about artists' um, potential from DJs. A and R's went to nightclubs and scouted for the hottest song. So even if these artists put the songs on their social media, it's not guaranteed that the right people will go to their social media and hear these songs. So the DJs were the ones who were supposed to be scouting and are still the ones supposed to be scouting social media, looking for the biggest thing, the next big thing. Because DJs have a natural, um, a natural ear for great potential in songs because they are used to watching the crowd uh, from the events that your guest mentioned and also nightclubs. Uh, the DJs in the radio stations, are, the radio station is just an add-on to the DJ's task but mainly it's for nightclubs and events. And that is how the uh, intuition has given them the ability to be able to spot a good song on impulse. So it is very important that we, we make sure this... Uh, sorry, uh, I, I got a call from my FaceTime. Now, it's very important that we make sure that uh, this culture is still, still exists. It's very, very important that DJs are given that space. Back in the day, you know, Arista, Interscope, uh, Bad Boy, De Def Jam, all these people got the next big thing through DJs. Right. So the, 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 the culture of DJs breaking out songs has stopped. Social media only allows the artist to have his own um, outlet to display his work. But it doesn't guarantee a song blowing up. But the, the DJs need to scout and bring it to the radio station. Because the radio stations normally don't really enjoy DJs who don't really approve of DJs who play brand new songs. They always want the DJ to be up to speed with what is going on and yeah. already hit, already made hits. Right. So they, they don't encourage <laughs> DJs to really go into um, new, brand new songs that nobody has heard. But it's the DJ's duty to break out artists. When you hear something that you think has potential, break all the rules and get them out there because the artists depend on you, your ear, and your audience. Right. Yeah, that social media is, is very lim limited to their fans and people who follow them. But the DJ can take that song to a bigger platform so eventually when 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 i made uh, this um, noise about this issue the djs uh, realized that i was right and they started you know playing songs that he has done from last year that people don't realize are big songs basically wow wow now let, let, let's talk about the industry and and its gatekeepers does the industry really have gatekeepers or it's just a speculation oh the gatekeeper uh, I invoked in my post was directed to the DJs, the right. people responsible for what is cool and what is not. The public has a natural instinct for what is cool. But these artists only, if, if you depend on social media, then the biggest, the, the biggest songs are going to come from the obviously Sarkodie and Medical and the rest because these people have the biggest following. So we can't we, we can't um, we can't limit it to the following of these artists. If we limit it to the following of these artists, the ones without following, the brand new artists who are coming out, who don't have the right following or the the, the mass following, are going to be left out. So who 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 caters for those? You know, it was always the DJs who made people like Richie and people like D Black these executives spot a potential. So if the DJs don't do their work, because oh, 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 um, um, uh, in the States, there was a DJ who, who came to the A&Rs and said, look, I have this new tape, this new boy. He's the biggest. He's going to be the biggest. Then the A&R takes that tape to Def Jam and says, look, there, there's a new buzz on the streets. This guy is about to blow. So... It was always the DJs who made sure the record labels didn't have to look too hard and make it happen. So my, my, uh, my take is that 
what your guest is saying uh, is true, uh, but it's very he's underestimating the role of the DJ. I think that the social media is it makes a lot of sense, but social media is limited to your following. Uh, the DJs will still have to take it. Even when the America craze came, the social media started it, but it was the DJs who broke it out with uh, the playlist everywhere, made sure that it was mainstream. Because mainstream, no matter what you think, mainstream is for the DJs. DJs, because you, a blogger can break an artist out. Yeah. Because the output of watching, you're reading. You're not, you can't get anything from reading about an artist. You can't get anything from TV interviews. So it's not about the media. It's not about the media because the, the, the media, the, the, the TV stations will accommodate these artists when they have finally reached the level they have to reach. But giving a brand new artist the opportunity to have an interview on uh, City TV won't, won't change the artist, won't, won't make him bigger. They need to hear the music. It's the music, you know, repetitively. They need to hear the music over and over again. So the, the, this, this fire is not for TV stations. It's not for bloggers. It's not for radio, um, you know, interviews and stuff like that. It's for play, you know, frequent play of uh, the right people's songs. And that would change these boys' lives. Right, right. So now, um, Black Sheriff was actually um, featured on City TV's breakfast show. But, you know, in your submission, it actually sounded like you were um, l um, lumping on the entire media. But, you know, like, we've done our bit here on City TV. So do you think it's fair that you should say that the whole media is also part of this? Because, yeah, some, so, some so outlets are trying. Of, there was no mention of media in my, in my post. Mm -hmm. So... You guys got it wrong. Yeah. There was no mention. I went ahead to to to, to talk about Bolare, and that should let you know that it was about DJs uh, who were breaking out artists. There was no mention of media in my post. It was about uh, uh, the people responsible for steering the music industry. Those people responsible for steering the industry is the people who are responsible for making the public hear the right music, so that we know like the right music is in vogue. Whenever songs, I mean, the DJs are the the, the, the the laymen, the public. They depend on the DJ to see what is cool. If the DJ says this is cool, everybody goes for it. So they are the ones steering the industry, whether we like it or not. You know? I mean, people are using social media as a big platform, but the new artists who don't have more than 5,000 following on social media, they, they stand to lose if somebody doesn't discover that song. Right, you know, right. Black right. Sharif has been around for a while, but he's been lurking in the in the bushes. People haven't really heard him. A lot of people came to talk on my page for all these uh, uh, stars. They were like, wow, this is the first time I'm hearing him. This is the first time I'm hearing him. And it shouldn't be so. This boy has been around since last year or more. And he's been playing. These great songs have been around. You know, so it wasn't even about that particular song I was pushing. It was about what he's capable of. This guy is, a, is the uh, combination of J.A. Adolfo, uh, Amachi Dede level with hip hop. That is priceless. Right, right, right. All right, thank you so much. We've heard everything you said. Thank you so much for passing through the show and clarifying what you put out there. And Olele, I, I, are you satisfied with it? Yeah, yeah, I think he made great, great points in there. Um, I also agree with the fact that no matter how good your song may be on social media, you need the DJs who are touching base with the locals here to push your music into mainstream you know, um, trend. So um, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. It, it okay, so we still have our panelists here, yeah. in case you forgot. So Coca and Paula, what do you guys um, think about everything um, Hama just said? I'm going to start with you, Coca. I think he, he made an excellent review um, of how our system has gone down the drain. But I stand to disagree with, with him on a point. 
if an artist don't make himself available, how do I know the artist is available? There are artists, Famia took social media as an advantage. If you think you're good and you want to stay in your room, yeah, be in your room and enjoy your music. I don't need to come to your room to know your song is good. You also need to put some work to it. The airwaves are choked. I agree. A lot of the DJs are playing shoddy music. They are killing our music and they are doing payola music. We agree. But what has the boy done to uplift his music? Has he gone to interviews? Has he called on uh, producers and he has been denied? Right. Has he done that? Mm -hmm. Why didn't Chris Waddle call a radio station or a DJ to say, listen, this is this guy's song, but you called Hammer. Is Hammer a DJ? Or you just want somebody, a gatekeeper, or somebody who is influential to open the door? We always have a way of strategically breaking out for somebody, and that's what they have done. But a lot of the things Hammer said is true, but a lot are also excuses. Because if you don't expose yourself, how would I know you? Because the, I'm a producer. I promote people. How many pro, pro, promoters have they called that, oh, okay, how can you help promote this guy? How, which show can you get us on? Yeah. Have they even called you to say, yo, your Fridays, can he perform for people to see him? If you're in your room, stay there and listen to your music. <laughs> right, right. So, Paula, I, I, I see you smiling <laughs> and giggling, actually. So, what do you think about this? Okay, so, Homer said it right. Uh, it's about time where DJs who are, you know, who are in control of the airways start playing the songs of these I don't if I should say underground artist. So you can adopt one. You continue, like you play her songs, his or her songs continuously. So people will start wondering, okay, who is this person? Now to the artists who are underground and then want to be known. Uh, some of them are not really using the power of social media. Of course, you say they are trying. But then you should, they are influencers. Now there are people on uh, Twitter where if you want to push something, you could get to them yeah. and then we'll start the whole thing, the whole buzz. Now Black Sheriff is a big thing. I shared his, uh, his uh, one of his shots, the freestyle that he did. I shared it. I went to YouTube, went to look at all his songs. So now I know Uncle Nam, a couple of them. Uh, is it money? Money, yeah, uh -huh. money. So I went, looked out, because now everybody's talking about, he even got interviewed by Abraham not, not long ago. So I'm saying to them that, Utilize the power of social media and also this is what you can also do. There are a whole lot of challenges in Ghana that everybody's talking about. Okay, fix this, fix that. If it's sanitation, if it's health or anything, you might not say that it's just the music that you're doing. But if you want to be known, pick up a challenge or something that is a disadvantage in your country and try to be like you're an advocate for that. Push exactly. that. We will be known. People like it. We don't want to say it's just music. What are you also bringing on the table? So for me, if I'm sharing your music, I know that, okay, he's a talented young guy. He's good. He needs the promotion. And then one thing I must say that now we are pushing our people. Black Sherry was just launched. And that everybody's talking about Black Sherry. Everybody's sharing his video. We are all going. Very soon, I'm sure he'll hit the one million. That is a big yeah, deal in Ghana right now. I've not seen him in any of this saying thank you <laughs> under any of the videos. I'm Paul. Yes. Right, that right. is your gratitude. <laughs> Right. No, 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 no. Sometimes you need to appreciate those who are helping you so that then the energy level goes like, whoa. But now right. you should have done it. There is an artist shot. in this country who is now everywhere. I took the tax on myself to send. He's here. I called you about Jackie. I told you what Jackie can do before Jackie got to where she is now. Today, when I call her, she tells me, where are you? You get wow. it. Yes, yeah, I, I send I, her song actually, to every DJ to say that this girl is the next big thing. Right, right. Ghana, how many artists have DJs discovered this year? Give me three artists we have discovered. Mm -hmm. Nigerians have discovered 15 artists this year. Hmm. If we don't discover new people and we get excited with the old ones, we retire with them. Right, right, right. I, I, I perfectly understand you. And Hama is actually still online. Um, Hama, what are your final thoughts? I'm sure you've heard everything they say. So what are some of your final thoughts to them and to everyone watching? Well, if, if I, if I rebuttal, I'm going, to, I'm going to drag your show. I don't want to. Uh, first of all, just Claire's. Chris, why don't they didn't call me so that I post this, this, this song? He didn't call me. Chris Waddle is my son. 
known him ever since he was uh, since he was 15, and he's been my boy ever since. He just called me uh, so that I hear because he knows I have it, an ear for something, you know, mm -hmm. for for great music. And he wanted to be sure because he's actually supporting the boy. So I took it upon myself to make noise about it, like I always do. So uh, get that out of the way, and I think that. Um, he is rather giving it um, um, excuses. Um, I think people need to realize that if you, the question of what has he done to be heard, what has he done, I just made a full point about the fact that social media is not enough. This mm -hmm. guy is a very, very vibrant social media activist in his music. He still didn't get the right attention. So I'm saying that nobody's saying social media. What can they do? You're asking, has has he called the host? Has he called? You're talking like you don't know how things work in this country. People, you don't have a seat at the table. You can't just get to anybody just because, just because, you know, you think that you are good. You know, people try to reach people. My DM is full of artists trying to get my attention. I hear some of the songs and I'm not impressed, so I don't even bother. So. It is not easy. We are all trying uh, to put these people out. But I'm, I'm trying to say that he shouldn't go on the on the attack on these artists as, as if it was their fault. And artists who don't show appreciation, that's up to them. I right. mean, we, we don't do this. We have been doing this thing since 1999. We don't do this for uh, to get something back from the artist. You know, we feel like the 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 fulfillment. Of making sure that no, like knowing that this guy is on TV, he's the biggest thing in the country, and feeling that you played a role in his rise, that is enough. And that you get you get your thank yous from the world, you get a thank yous from society, you don't get a thank you from the artist. The artist will obviously be saying thank you, send you stuff, you know, but you, you shouldn't wait for it. You shouldn't be sitting down there saying, what would they do back? What have they said back? Uh, Black Sheriff, I've never met him. After I made my post, he came to my post to say thank you. I love you, Daddy. Uh, the second post, he came to say thank you again. Uh, the third post, he said thank you again. Then he came to my DM, dropped his phone number. I've never, I still haven't called him, you know, because I, I, I report to well, Wado, I, I told Wado my my review, what I think about him. I don't want to establish a direct link with the artist for now until Wado thinks that he can call me. It's all part of the protocol of self I mean, uh, 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 respecting each other, mutual respect for creatives and all that. There are things that you don't do, uh, things that you allow, things that you don't allow too early. So my point is that... Uh, uh, he he he's, he has the right uh, mindset, but I don't think that he should go after the artist. Maybe he's better because somebody messed up somewhere. People are different; it's relative. People 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 don't show like gratitude. People have different upbringing. But me personally, I haven't had an encounter with any artist who hasn't shown appreciation because I think that because I don't expect it i don't look for it i don't get disappointed people if, if you are there trying to get it back that is when you you get disappointed so right right that, right that, that okay. breaking down the app when the artist comes out and he messes up and he doesn't do what he needs to be done that, it doesn't matter it, it is not it is not part of uh, uh our duty to to wait for a thank you all right. Okay. So we've heard everything you said and talking about gratitude. We want to say a very big thank you for actually joining the show. I hope you had a good time with us. I did. All right. Thank you. Thank you and have a good evening. Wow. That was a very heated argument. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of lessons and education to, to pick, right. <clears throat> to pick um, things from. And I think what Koka and Hama are saying, you know, comes back to one thing. DJs need to do what they have to do, and the artists need to remember who helped them get to that point. You know, because when you are rising, it's so easy to stand on people's shoulders until you get there, and then you look back and everybody looks like 
termites to you. Right. You know, so just appreciate each other. DJs, artists, let's just appreciate each other. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, so you have a message, right? Yeah, I have a message, and it's actually directed to Haja for real. And he says, uh, she says, my name is Priscilla. Um, please tell Haja for real that I love all her songs, and I love her too. She should keep it up. So talking about gratitude, in fact, we're ending with gratitude. I want to say a very big thank you to Coca and Potter Hi, for actually yeah. coming through the show <laughs> to make it a very enjoyable one. Mm. I really don't know if we're still talking about our funeral today, but I don't know who's hmm. in the match. Uh, it looks like someone Chelsea, is, Chelsea is in the <laughs> lead, so. So now, and thank you to the mixologists for coming through. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And happen. also a very big Their thank you to around. Mona for real for passing through the show. It was a very exciting one. Thank you too for watching. I hope you join us next week, same time. And a very big thank you to Good Day Energy Drink for Yama. sponsoring this show. Feeling too good. So see you next week, same time. My name is Chris Carter and this has been The Chat.